Daisy. Hello, friends. Welcome to Get Your Play Online. My name is Sarah Rose, and I am super excited about the book that we're going to be reading tonight. So I have a quick question. What is your favorite animal that lives underwater? If you have a favorite animal that lives underwater, I want you to shout it out. Let's see if I can hear. Those are some very good animals. Some good fish. Yeah. Maybe some of your favorite underwater animals are dolphins or jellyfish or maybe if you've watched the movie Finding Nemo, a clownfish, the kind of fish that Nemo and his dad are. Those are all really good choices for favorite underwater animals. My favorite underwater animal is the seahorse. And that is the main character of our story tonight. So this story is called Mr. Seahorse. Now, seahorses are pretty special. So, for the most part, when animals have babies, they either have live babies, like how your mommies or daddies have babies, or they lay eggs. Now, normally, it's the mom that lays the eggs and takes care of the eggs. If you know how a chicken lays an egg, the mom will sit on the egg and make sure that it's taken care of. And I love this book too, Brandy. And um, the mom is the one that takes care of the egg. But with seahorses, seahorses have a little pouch and the dad is actually the one that takes care of the babies once those eggs are laid. So we're gonna follow along with Mr. Seahorse on his journey as he takes care of his little babies. So like always, I want to invite you to get as comfy and cozy as possible. So tonight, comfy and cozy for me looks like a really fuzzy blanket and one of my favorite teddy bears who's gonna help us read our story tonight but you get as comfy and cozy as in whatever that looks like for you. While you're doing that, I'm gonna read a little letter that our author has written to the friends who read this book. So it says, Dear friends, in most fish families, after the mother has laid the eggs and the father has fertilized them, the eggs are left on their own but there are exceptions, such as the seahorse, our friend right here, the stickleback, tilapia, Curtis nursery fish, pipefish, bullhead catfish, and some others. Not only are the eggs cared for by a parent, but surprise, that parent is the father. This may sound strange, but it is the truth. And this is my story about them. I hope you enjoy my story, Eric Carl. So my friends, Eric Carl is the author and illustrator of our story. So that means that he wrote the words on the page and he drew the pictures. So my friends, without further ado, this is Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carl. All right, Augustus, you're gonna sit right here. <laughs> this is the cover page. It says, Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carl. Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea. Mrs. Seahorse began to wiggle and twist this way and that. There is Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse. It's time for me to lay my eggs, she said. Can I help? 
asked Mr. Seahorse. Oh, yes, thank you, said Mrs. Seahorse. And she laid her eggs into a pouch on Mr. Seahorse's belly. So that's where her eggs are going to be. They're going to be in Mr. Seahorse's pouch. If you have seen a kangaroo and how baby kangaroos live in their mother's pouch, that's kind of like what Mr. Seahorse has. I'll take good care of our eggs, said Mr. Seahorse. I promise. Our seahorses are very colorful. As Mr. Seahorse trip drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by, let's see. Can you see who's hiding in the grass? It says a group of trumpet fish hidden in a patch of reeds. Do you see the trumpet fish? Let's see if we can spot them. There they are. There's our trumpet fish. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Stickleback? Asked Mr. Seahorse. Delighted, replied Mr. Stickleback. I just built a nest and right away Mrs. Stickleback laid her eggs into it. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. Keep up the good work, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. So Mr. Stickleback doesn't have a pouch like Mr. Seahorse. He has a nest that his eggs are in. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a lionfish hidden behind a coral reef. Let's see, can you see our lionfish? Let's see. <gasps> There's our lionfish. Whoa, look at all of those colors. It's very pretty. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Tilapia? Asked Mr. Ste Mr. Seahorse. Mr. Tilapia couldn't answer. His mouth was full of eggs. I know, I know, said Mr. Seahorse. Mrs. Tilapia laid her eggs. Now you're taking good care of them until they hatch. Mr. Tilapia nodded his head. You must be very happy, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. So we have Mr. Stickleback who has a nest for his eggs. We have Mr. Seahorse who has his eggs in a pouch. And then we have Mr. Tilapia who carries his eggs in his mouth. Very cool. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by What's behind here? A pair of leaf fish hidden among the seaweed. Let's see, do you see our leaf fish? Let's see. Oh, there they are. Why do you think they're called leaf fish? Maybe because they're green like leaves? They kind of look like leaves too, the same shape. Maybe. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Curtis? Asked Mr. Seahorse. Perfectly fine, replied Mr. Curtis. Mrs. Curtis laid her eggs and I have stuck them on my head. Now I'm taking good care of them until they hatch. You're doing a good job, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. Let's see. There are Mr. Curtis's eggs on top of his head. So there are lots of different ways that fish take care of their eggs. Also, look at Mr. Seahorse. Look at how silly he is being upside down. 
As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a stone fish hidden behind a rock. Do you see our stone fish at all? Maybe, I think I see an eye right here. Let's see if we're right. Oh, ooh. There's our stonefish. He has a really big mouth. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Pipe? Asked Mr. Seahorse. Couldn't be better, replied Mr. Pipe. Mrs. Pipe laid her eggs along my belly. Now I'm taking good care of them until they hatch. You should feel proud of yourself, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. Do you see Mr. Pipe's eggs on his belly? So we have Mr. Seahorse's eggs in his pouch. We have Mr. Curtis's eggs on his Head. That's right. We have Mr. Pipe's eggs on his belly. That's right. Very good. Do you remember some other fish that we've seen where they have their eggs? Very good remembering. Good job, friends. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Bullhead? Asked Mr. Seahorse. Tip top, replied Mr. Bullhead. Mrs. Bullhead laid her eggs in the edge hat and the eggs hatched. Now I'm babysitting. You're doing a fine job, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. So look, when an egg hatches, that's when the little babies can swim in the ocean. So all of his eggs have hatched, and now he's babysitting. The time had come for the seahorse babies to be born. Mr. Seahorse wiggled and twisted this way and that. At last, the babies tumbled from Mr. Seahorse's pouch and swam away. One baby turned around and tried to come back into the pouch. Oh no, said Mr. Seahorse, I do love you, but now you're ready to be on your own. There we go. So Mr. Seahorse's babies have hatched from his pouch. Remember our friend here where his eggs hatched and now the babies can swim in the ocean? That's what happened with Mr. Seahorse's babies. Let's see, can you find the seahorse that wanted to go back inside the pouch? You're right, it's this one. Very good. And my friends, that's the end. Great job, my friends. Thank you so much for listening to our story. I had a great time learning about how different fish take care of their eggs especially how daddy fish take care of their eggs. So let's see if we can remember how some daddies took care of their eggs. Let's see, do you remember how Mr. Seahorse took care of his eggs? That's right, he had a pouch in his belly and that's where he took care of his eggs. Let's see, what about Mr. Stickleback? He's our first fish, do you remember? Let's see, maybe this will help. That's right, Mr. Stickleback had a nest for his eggs and he was watching over the nest. What about Mr. Tilapia, our next fish? Do you remember where his eggs were? That's right, they were in his mouth, taking care of his eggs that way. What about Mr. 
Curtis. Do you remember how he took care of his eggs? That's right. His eggs were on top of his head. That's right. Very good. All right, my friends, what about Mr. Pipe? Where were his eggs? On his belly. That's right. Very good. And do you remember what happened with Mr. Bullhead's eggs? Very good. They hatched. That's right. Very good. Well, my friends, thank you so much for joining me for our bedtime story tonight. I had a wonderful time learning about seahorses and learning about different kinds of fish parents, how they take care of their eggs. So my friends, I hope that you have a great evening and we'll see you next time. Until then, have a great night and sweet dreams. Bye everyone. Here, I'll have my teddy bear friend say goodbye too.